Keanu. Hope you're all doing well. It's Friday today, game day tomorrow. Let's go. So we're heading up the highway, about a two and a half hour travel, and we're heading up to play the Shepherd and Bulls. It's going to be a very tough game. They're still undefeated this year at home. Our goal is to go up there, do the best we can, stick to our game plan, and hopefully come away with the win. Otherwise, you know, it's going to be a very, very, very long travel home. But lucky me and my family are staying out there tonight. We're going to suss out some areas on Sunday. But yeah, two, two good sessions. Boys were hard to hear as a training. You know, after our first loss last week to Northern, you know, a few of the boys are feeling that pain. It sucks losing, but unfortunately, that's part of playing rugby, you know? Either win, lose, or draw. So, you know, pumped up the head up the ship, you know, hopefully get that result. You now we want to get back in that winning circle. But yeah, anyway, guys, I'll probably speak to you in the morning. I'll speak to you guys before we head up. Have to leave early. But um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys then. Morning, guys. So, welcome back to your game day today. Let's go. About to head off, pack the car. Hopefully try and get up the ship about 1, 1 head to the cabin and then check in the fam and then make the way to the fields for the game. But yeah, we'll talk to you guys when we get there. We just arrived at the club, just finished dropping off the fams at the cab. Crack a day in Shepparton. About 13 but the sun's out. So it should be a good game for some footy. Yeah boys. Hey fams. So once again it's only going to be highlights of the game. It's not actually the full game. But hopefully you guys enjoy it. So we're on the way here between the Shepherd and Bulls and the Wyndham City Rhinos. So a good take here from Shepherd and takes it up into contact. Going for a settle play. What's the number nine gonna do here? Feeds it out to their forwards for a head up. Great defense here from the Rhinos. Good scramble. Ball goes the same way. Shepherd and go for a bit of a kick. T recovers the ball. What can T do? Bit of footwork there, breaks the first tackle, still going there, the fullback. Great little first run there from T. Ball goes up to Natu, Natu chips it over. Big Nate chasing, ball goes up. Good start there from the runners. Line out here to Shepparton. And the most crookedest throw ever, which was right in front of the ref. And nah. Play on, gives a free kick to Shepparton. What a joke. This is really just the start of the ref having his input into the result of this game. So here we have T with a massive punt down, trying to go for that 50-20. Yeah, bounces, manages just to go about half a metre over the 22 metre line. But, you know, once again, the ref doesn't know what's going on. So then finally, he decides to give us the ball back because it was a clear 50-22. So now Rhino's line out here, see what they can produce. Well, a bit of overthrow, no lifters there. Ball gets out of the tee, gives it to Natu, feeds it off to our captain Abel with the big hit up. Here's the next ball sweeping around, ball goes out to Christian, Christian gives it off to Natu, Natu short ball to Jimmy, Jimmy makes a little break, great run there from Jimmy. So he hit the ball back to the forwards in the middle, here goes Toko with another great run. Oh and Shepard and managed to strip the ball and they run it out of their red zone line. What can they produce here the Bulls? Bit of scrappy ball there for the Rhinos. They need to need to make those make those moments count, especially especially in their green zone. You know, can't afford to give away cheap ball. But play on here. Here goes Shepard in, in the midfield. Slow ball for the number nine. Nine feeds it to the first five. Gives it out to their prop. Here goes their prop. Feeds it off. Goes for a bit of a grubber. 
runs past the ball. Captain A recovers the ball back. Oh, and then Shepard and strip it off and play on. Bit of scrappy ball all over the joint here. Number nine feeds it out to the midfield. Shepard and have a crash. Great defense there from the Rhinos. Ball goes out wide. Great line speed. Still going here, Shepard and managed to get a bit of a break. Oh, a bit of a forward pass there. Play on the ref reckons. Here goes G. Bit isolated at the moment. Only has his winger. Here comes the reinforcements. Lead him with a clean out. Go for a bit of a... Trying to go for that 50-22. Trying to get our boys out of danger. But unfortunately, the ball just bounces into the dead goal line. So sorry about that, boys. So we've got to come back for a scrum. Let us come here to the ship and number nine feeds it out to the number ten. Going for a midfield crash. But I think they lose the ball. Danny recovers, chips it down, still chasing the ball. The ship and the number nine managed to recover, but we come back for I believe what a forward pass. But yeah, scrum here to the rhinos. Nine feeds it out to Natu. What can Natu produce? Natu goes for one of his deadly steps, breaks the first tackle, still going, gives the ball off Doko. Here goes Doko, one of his barnstormy runs, takes it to go. Oh, and unfortunately, Shepard and managed to strip the ball once again. Ronnie's need to work on that ball security, especially going into contact, but play on here. What can the Shepard and Bulls produce in their red zone? They chip it, number 10 chips it down. Go straight to T, what can T produce? Breaks the first tackle T, goes into contact, manages the break away, goes down the sideline, still going there T, tries to step back in, but he loses his footing and goes out, but great run there from the fullback for the Rhinos. So here we have Captain Abel with one of his hit ups, still going there the captain, manages to take it down the ground, reinforcements arrive, ball goes out to Natu, Natu feeds it off to Greg Foster. Here goes G, pumping those legs still. Set up the next pod. Hit back to the blind side. Goes back to the open side of Natu. What can Natu produce? Tries to use his footwork to go through the middle. Gets tackled there. Bit of scrappy ball at the moment. What can the Rhinos produce? Got to capitalise on these moments. Best to close to the try line. Here goes Raji. One of his big hit ups. And, oh. Knock on the ref reckons. But here's, here's the Rhinos again. Play on. Here goes G about five metres from the line. Trying to leg drive over that try line. A good defence here from Shepard. It's a bit of slow ball at the moment. See what the forwards can produce. See if they can hit up over that line. But once again, defence from Shepard has just been too good today. Ball goes out to the left. Daddy brings it back to Nazi. What can Nazi produce? Nazi goes for a bit of a chip. But they go straight to the Shepard and Winger. And he runs it back. So Rhino's got to go from offense to defense straight away. So a bit of slow ball at the moment. Now we're going to line up to Shepard and Shepard and with a great take. Number 10, once again, for clearance downfield. Taken on the full there from our fullback T. Oh no, but then the ref gives a penalty to Shepard. So line out here to Shepard. Go to the middle lifter. Sees a little bit, but quickly closed there from Raji and Greg. Their number nine feeds it out to their 10. 10 gives it to their prop. Goes for it up there in the midfield. Good tackle there from the Rhinos. Shepard pushing to go the same way. If fly off goes for a grabber through the middle. T picks the ball up. No one gets charged down from the, from the number 16. Fly off gets the ball back. Gets taken down there. T goes over the ball. Gets the ball back for the runners. And the boys get in the rack and help them out. A bit of slow ball here at the moment. Christian gives the ball there to Tukul. Tukul gets it up. Makes a couple of metres there. Gets thrown to the ground. Ron is coming for the crew now. T feeds the ball out to Natu. Natu goes for a dummy. Makes a break. Still going here, Natu. Gets the pass there to G. G offloads it there to Chase. Chase takes it into contact. Gets the offload. Still going here, the Rhinos. Do Natu once again. Takes it on the ground. Offloads the ball to 
one of the boys can't see. The ball goes up to Ona. Ona floats in it. To Abel. Abel takes it up in the contact, gets driven back there from Shepparton. So, oh, and once again, Shepparton steal the ball. They chip it down. Bit of slow play here at the moment. T's just jogging. Everybody's buggered. Back and forth play from the Rhinos. The Rhinos with the ball here. Bit of a more going. Good ball here to Brownie. Brownie with the dummy. Oh, and Brownie knocks it on. Shepparton here with the ball. Brownie gets the gut. Beautiful tackle there from Brownie. Oh, mate. But for some reason, some reason, I don't know why, the ref reckons that was a grass cut. Mate, let's have a look at the replay. Let's have a close look. This is a grass cut then. Fuck. Bob's your uncle. Mate, where's the grass cut in that? And it's such a bad call there, sir. Penalty kick here. About 10 metres up from the trial. Line. See what the runners can produce here at the lineup. Bit of a fumble there from Christian. Managers to gather the ball back. Can the runners produce here with their more? A few of the boys break out the side. The ball goes out of the ground. So we have to reset. Reset for the next pod. Next runner. Feed it up to Toko. Here goes Toko. Still going to the ball. Oh, once again, Shepard and managed to shoot the ball away. And once again, ball security letting the rhinos down here. Going for extra play here. Ball goes out. Good clearance there from the Shepherd player. The line out here to the runners. Good take there from Christian. Ball goes up to Natu. Natu feeds it to Ulmer. Ball goes out to Abel. Abel takes it into contact. Drives the off though, but it's tapped back there from the center for Shepherdon. So Shepherdon once again has the ball back. Runners reset on defense. Bull fly up. There's it. Up. Doesn't manage to make it to touch. Takes it on my nine. Running it hard back there, the young fella. Takes it into the Beautiful hit up there. Good support here from Sire, mate. Bit of scrappy ball at the moment. Bit of slow ball. Ball goes up to Danny. Oh, and the number nine. Lifts him above the horizontal. Surely, sir. Penalty there for the Rhinos. So, once again, go for the start line, though. 10 15 meters out. Christian wins the ball, taps it down to G. Great contact there from the hooker from Shepparton. But Greg still pumping those legs. The ball goes out to James Brown, takes it into contact. Quick ball here, plays out to Natu. Natu feeds to Danny, Danny steps back in. Oh, can get tackled midfield here. Still on out wide, can get that quick ball. Oh, no bit of interference here in the ruck. Ball eventually gets out to Natu. Nati with a dummy, takes it into contact. Shepard and try to count up, but Nathan picks the ball up. Gets tackled. Ah, oh, and once again, turn over here to Shepard and great hustle there from the Bulls. It's not enough urgency there from the Rhinos. Shepard and kick it downfield. Chase sprinting it back hard. Managed to pick up the ball. Gets the offload to Ulna. What's the big number eight gonna do? Torpedoes it down the field. Bounces once for his solid break. Kick there from the forward. So line out here to ship him. Go for a bit of a trick play. But the halfback reads it perfectly. Shuts down the play here. We've got a bit of a ruck here from Shepparton. Number nine reaches him for the ball. Feeds it to the halfback. Halfback gives it to the midfield. Crash for number eight. Crash up the middle. Bounces off apes. Still going here to number eight. Manages to finally get him down. Tackled by Nate Dog. Got Shepard there, nice and close to him. Oh, then he get, number nine gets tackled. Offside, according to the ref. So, penalty here to the Shepard Bulls. Ricky gets off right here to the TT, feeds it off to Joe. Joe hits it up the middle. Still going here, the big prop. Taking a couple Shepard and players to get him down, eventually gets him down. A feeds it out to the back line. Ball goes to the ground. Here goes Ona. Feeds it off to Danny. Danny steps back in. Gets the offload to Abel. Got a bit of a play here out wide. Here goes Ona. Ona feeds it to Sire. Sire. Oh, and the ball unfortunately goes to the ground. And a knock on there to the Rhinos. Fortunately, couldn't capitalise on their awesome play there. But a scrum here to Shepard. Big push here from the Rhinos. The Bulls managed to get it back. 
Go for the clearance kick. Manages to find the turf. Covered here from T. T with the dummy. Goes in for the impact. Bit of a high tackle there from the box. Play on. Advantage to the runners. Come back for a penalty. So here we have a kickoff from Shepparton after Nati Bakes scored another awesome try. Oh, Blake to knock on there from Shepparton. But no, play on according to the ref. You know, like I was saying, the ref had a lot of input in this game, and, um, which resulted in the outcome. You know, because Shepparton ended up scoring the try off the set, which is, um, you know, which changed the momentum because we had we had quite a bit of momentum until this uh, this moment happened. And it's crucial that, mate, that's the ref's job to be looking at what's going on. And, you know, to miss a, miss a play to knock on like that, that's just, you know, that's just disgraceful. But as you can see here, I think the next set, they end up feeding it up, and then they end up scoring. Uh, momentum killer. Here yeah, we've got a conversion from the sideline after our young centre Josiah goes in for his first try in the corner. Didn't manage to get the video, but managed to get the conversion. And I think the score is 19 points to 24 at the moment. And I think there's like seven or eight minutes left to go. But um, yeah, this is pretty much the final footage I have of the game. So, final score today is Shepard and Bulls. 27, William City Rhinos, 19. So unfortunately, suffered our second loss of the year. So, solid effort today here from the Bulls. You know, very physical game from them. And um, we just let ourselves down today. You know, not capitalising on the opportunities. We got close to our line. So, gotta work on that. And yeah, hopefully hit the training paddock on Tuesday. Get a good turnout and get ready for another week. What's up fam? So unfortunately, we didn't get the dub today, but um, you know, we, we tried our best. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, we, we had a bit of a shit rip today, but um, you know, back to training, back to training next week. Hopefully we fucking uh, work Leading try scorer right here. Leading try scorer. No one's catching me. But yeah, catch you on the next one.